This is Twit. This is probably something no one else cares about, but computers are about to replace a business that I'm in, <laughs> voiceover actors. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, now you got a problem. I, you, now I'm mad. Yeah. I, you know, it's interesting to see automation slowly replace a lot of jobs, yeah. but one job I thought I would probably be fairly safe in is uh, voiceover. This is an article from MIT Technology Review. There are a number of companies, Well Said Labs, one of the best known, which are taking real human voices. Mm -hmm. It's called prosody. They're taking the real human inflection style and they're laying it over machine-generated kind of robotic speech to make it sound human. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play these samples, but, <laughs> but let me play... Um, let me see. Karen is the senior AI editor at MIT Technology Review, covering the field's cutting-edge research and its impacts on society. That is not a human. Not yeah, it's not bad. That is not bad. No. Uh, I'll play you um, uh, another one here. Um, this is an AI made to sound... This sounds to me a little more robotic, but I'll, mm -hmm. I'm curious what you think. Made to sound like a customer service agent. Thank you for calling our department store. How can I help you today? Oh, I think... The little mm, hoarseness, yeah. pretty good. the yeah. pauses, the inflection. Well, audiobooks, clearly. There's no reason why you would need to hire an actor for an audiobook, unless you wanted the personnel. Here's from another company called Vocal ID. They do ads. At Casper, we've taken sleep to the next level. Temperature regulation feels like sleeping with a cool... Not so good. You know, if you're, nah. paying, if you're paying that much for an ad... You want me to read yeah. it. Right. They want me to read it. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. If honestly, an AI yeah. says, I slept on a Casper last night, it's not that credible. Well, I'm just saying. It's not. Also, it's not that much money to pay the voiceover artist right. for the ad. It's cheaper. You reuse yeah. it. You know, it's cheaper. Is Same it? Thing with like an audio. Is it? A I really good think. voiceover artist is very expensive. It's and handy, there's but residuals. But on the other hand, there's people mm. like me. I'll give it to you for 15 bucks. So I was going to say, I mean, there's a, there's a much bigger there's a huge, like, market of supply. There's a huge uh, pool right now. Yeah, you can go online. There's freelancers who will do it for nothing. Oh, yeah. Here's another one. Let's see I if this sounds better. Feels like summer is finally here. We've got drinks and snacks for the whole family in aisle Ugh. six. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit. Yeah, now, this is the one that I thought was interesting. Another place you get voiceover work is... Video games. I know a lot of video voiceover artists who do work for video yeah. games. Mm -hmm. This uh, is from a company called Obsidian Entertainment. This is a robotic voice. Listen. I can see this hurts, but I had to tell you sooner. Forget it. I trusted you. But if you look at it... You never listen. You don't listen. Wow. And what's also it's good... Wow, that's better acting than most humans. And if the video games. game could, could generate that dynamically, depending on it the can. state of play, that's where it it's... It can. Yeah, that, you couldn't really so do that. So normally you'd go in and yeah. you'd you spend days recording uh, thousands of different right. variations on lines right. and so forth. Don't have to have a human anymore. Now, there are right. humans involved. Th these were all almost all created with humans who did the prosody and got paid for that. And it says in the article, and they knew <laughs> they're putting themselves. Out they of business. knew they're putting themselves out of business. <laughs> right. They they licensed the voices, and they knew that they would they would get paid once. It's so. like when a worker packs, you know, gets paid to pack up the machinery to send to China. Right. You know. Yeah. Great. It's kind of it's, last time. It? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get, you got one more job. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think that's kind of interesting. This is uh, something Google's been working on. They've t they're they're the, mm -hmm. there where I learned that word prosody was from Google. Mm -hmm. I also I wonder if people are just getting used to hearing more robotic voices now too, right? One of one of my favorite features is Pocket. Pocket has just read me this article, right? If you're online, it gives you really good digital voice for every single article. Yeah. And I just walk around and listen to very long pieces, and it's not gr it's not perfect. You but know, it's it's fine. A, you, know you know it's it's synthesized, exactly. but it's good enough right. that you can listen yeah. to it. Yeah. 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 Although, although flip sides, I subscribe to Autumn, which is a subscription service. Love Autumn, mm -hmm. and that uses uh, humans. It's one of my favorites, yeah. and yeah. that uses humans. Well, but because, but I think the difference here, and I think maybe this is where we're going to, is like the middle ground of like the just okay voice over voice stuff. I think maybe goes away, and you have high quality AI generated voice, or like in the case of mm -hmm. Autumn or some of the stuff on Audible, you have incredibly high quality, right. very good readers because the quality of the readers on Autumn, they're usually like the best people that are on Audible, right? And and it's like really, really yeah. good stuff. And I've compared because Apple has um, real human readers doing stuff on Apple News as well. And I listened to an article that happened to have been 
done on both places. It was a New York Magazine article, and one was on Apple, and one was on Autumn. And the Autumn one was, like, it wasn't even a comparable thing. It was just you had a much better reader, a much better person. Um, and so, like, I'm willing to pay for that experience. Would I be willing to pay for the lesser reading experience versus something that's good enough like Pocket? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. But if you're able to kind of reach, I think, like kind of that upper echelon of the people that, to your point, Leo, can charge more and get the residuals and are very in demand, I don't think those people are going to be replaced by, you know, AI because the quality difference is still so good that if that's what you're after, there's an audience yeah. for it. Yeah. In some of the Audible books, they'll do accents, you know, yep. and affects, and it's like listening to a play. I mean, it's really- I don't think it, there's any reason that value. a computer couldn't do that as well. I mean, you Maybe. could- Eventually, yeah. 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 I think the entry level folks are screwed. Basically, the people who are entrenched and like have a reputation yes. and are notable are going to be fine for a while. But they're they're like the dinosaurs of it's, that it's age. It's kind of I like think. digital yeah. cameras. You know, there, there's still a market for two thousand dollar great cameras. There's no market for crappy two hundred dollar cameras. It's it's like mm. you know the the margins go away. Yep. yep. It's uh, about five thousand uh, dollars to record an audio book. I, you know, maybe it would only cost you $500 to use a robotic voice. I think there are a lot of people mm -hmm. who would want the real human 